I am out here on the streets. I still don't know if, um, if vlogging is whatever. You know, I'm just gonna vlog. If someone steals this camera, oh well. Like, number one, my footage isn't that good. <laughs> and number two, my camera's not that good, so whatever. If they steal my camera, it's better than them stealing my phone. But I'm out here, first impressions. Someone just asked me for a selfie, but I said, uh, no gracias, because <laughs> I didn't know what he said. I, I only register what people say until like after the fact, so it takes a bit. So yeah, it's a beautiful day, absolutely gorgeous, in the 70s, perfect weather, muy bien. One thing I've already noticed here is that stoplights, stoplights are very long. I don't know if that's a thing or not, but just from my ignorant perspective. Perspective number two. Lots of markets and llamas. The vibe is very, very different than Colombia. I don't know what the vibe is yet, but I can just feel the difference. You can feel difference in each city that you go to. As you can see, Lima is right beside the water. So this thing is like a co-working space, but also like a hostel, but we use it for co-working. For the digital nomads, Wi-Fi artists I'm part of, links below if you want to travel as a digital nomad. Yes. Day two. I have a ton of work to do. But I decided to not this morning. Because there's a free walking tour of the planet. I kind of want to see the city. So we're just going to go out there and, and see some more Lima. The area that I'm in is near Miraflores. That wasn't instant coffee, so <laughs> I don't know what I just did. But so. yeah, not instant coffee, I don't know. I didn't even look at it. <laughs> so, <laughs> no cafe today. So forgot, I need to put in my SIM card, which took a long time to get, by the way. It's a complicated process in some countries to get a SIM card. For Peru, it's... Complicated. So one big thing here is that everybody wears masks outside still, like outside, everywhere. Another thing here is you have to show your vaccination card to get into anywhere. Um, even McDonald's, you have to show your vaccination card, which is interesting. Let's get some coffee. So we're at a different place in Lima, which is really pretty. The architecture is like very European. Like look at look, it looks like I'm in Europe right now, but I'm not. I'm in South America. <laughs> this is the capital. It used to be Cusco, but it switched over. There was like a thousand inhabitants here, and then they came in and made this the capital instead of Cusco. So now a third of the population of Peru lives in Lima, and that is about 11 million people, and there's like 30 some million in all of Peru. So it's interesting, very bright. And um, all these buildings are actually relatively new because originally they built the buildings with adobe and sticks, but uh, Lima was a very desert area and it's very hot, so those things kind of burned up a lot, and there's also earthquakes here. So, look at all this information that I learned. I'm trying to say right now before I forget it. Um, Catholic Catholicism as the main religion um, here. And the church is very young. This church had to be rebuilt because one of the biggest earthquakes destroyed it in the 1940s. Like, who is this guy though? I think this is the guy. <laughs> he has this guy in roller skates follow him. He must be someone. I don't know who this guy is. Like, it seems pretty famous. This guy in roller skates behind him. <laughs> Sorry, I just get starstruck. So Lima is actually, and I didn't know this, it doesn't rain here. It's the second driest capital city besides Cairo in the world. You know, you think of South America as being pretty rainy, but Lima is very, very dry. Peru is really known for its food scene. Um, there's a lot of influences of Peruvian food, African, Japanese, like it's all a mixture and um, they also just learned they eat. A big dish here is alpaca. 
but also not just alpaca, but also guinea pig, <laughs> which I'm not gonna get you guys to know I'm vegetarian, but I thought that was interesting. <laughs> they served the whole thing with the head intact, fried. This is the most important water source in Lima, the river that um, is important because it's a desert, so they kind of control the water here. So after April, the whole river is going to completely dry up, but what they do is they collect the water in reservoirs. We're going to get some food now, some lunch. Probably the simplest thing on it. <laughs> 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 back hurts from walking so much. Not only do you need to show your vaccination card, also your ID, but you also need to not wear one mask, two masks to get into a lot of places. Two masks, double masked. Buenos dias. Um, I slept a lot. I tend to gravitate towards cities because it's easiest to stay there and get what you need and blah, blah, blah. But on this trip, we're definitely going to venture outside of Lima as well, which I'm very excited to do. And everyone's been asking, are you gonna to go to Machu Picchu? And yes, I'm doing all right. Like I'm in this apartment by myself, so it's pretty lonely in here, but I need to focus like to be able to, for me to do my creative stuff, like my editing for TikTok and like Instagram, I need complete focus. And I've been so out of focus. It's very hard to travel, socialize and focus on working at the same time. And it's something that I think everyone has to navigate if you're a digital nomad. Um, Especially me because I only have so much energy and my social energy. You know, if I use that, then I don't have creative energy. So it's really hard for me. And I don't want to push myself to do too much, and then it creates a burnout, which burnout is whenever you just can't function anymore, which I feel a little bit like that the last couple of days. But I'm hoping it's just from switching countries and stuff like that. I'm a little tired. A little tired. So today, instead of going out, I'm gonna try and order some coffee food um, off of Rappi. Rappi is kind of like an Uber Eats, but it's more for, I guess, South America or something. It's like, does anybody else feel like they have like an energy storage, kind of like a video game? And every little thing that you do, your energy just ch -ch -ch -ch, until it's like gone. And then whenever it's gone, it's like miserable trying to just stay awake. I don't know if that's just me, but everything that I do takes a, bar, a little bar of my energy away. So I would have to be careful about where I put it Sometimes you can only try your best. My diet here has been absolute shite, right? But it's when you're traveling and stuff, <clears throat> things can't be perfect. I did it. Coffee's cup. All by myself in Lima, Peru. All by myself. What will I do? <laughs> We got about 3.50 today. We're into Huacachina. Me bajo a la cuesta. Me bajo a la cuesta. Me tomo este vino. Me tomo este vino.
so fun. Wasn't it? <laughs> it was like the speedboat oh, in oh, Colombia. Now I want one of these. Yeah. Elbow's tight. Yep, it's very good. Oh, yeah. Hmm. One thing that will work. So we are still in Lima and I'm gonna end this video here. I have my cinematographer with me now. I'm very, very excited. We have um, a lot of adventures in store for this trip. There's my first impressions of Lima. I know that they're, they will change because first impressions are not final impressions. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one. And uh, love you very much. Thanks, Terrestrial. Bye.